Well, good morning, adventurers. It's 11 o'clock a.m. on the 27th of June. It's a Tuesday and it's raining again. Why is it every bloody Tuesday it rains? And to my amazement, over there is our friend Michael. I'm so excited, Shory. Say good morning, Michael. Thank you. Scripted. We've come after the cop. He's been here an hour or two and he's had quite a few uh, small eskimers and roach and a little crushing carp. But I'm only fishing one rod with floating bread and we're going to see if we can pull a double out today. Episode 5 commences. I'm getting very frustrated because this little duck, go on, get out of there. It's not frightened of us. I kind of put a bait in because it takes the bloody bread straight off the hook. I can't throw any loose bait in or that just attracts it even more. And it's really starting to annoy us. If I had a gun, I'd shoot the little sod. Go on, get out of it. <laughs> just not scared. And it knows I'm fishing with bread. Well, because of the ducks, and one thing and another, I've put a smaller hook on to see what's out there. And there's a nice, nice little roach. Nice little roach. On a size 12. But there's not. There you go. Yeah, I've put a much smaller hook on because trying to fish the floating bread, either the little fish are taking it straight off the hook on the top, or the ducks are coming and getting it. So I'm fishing a piece of bread flake, squidged onto the hook so they can't get it off too easy. And it seems that's what's going to catch them. Just fishing very close in under this bush here. You get bites as soon as the bait goes down. Bream, roach, crucians, whatever. There you go, straight away. Hooking them is a different thing. They need to be big enough to get the bait in their mouth. I'm putting a bigish bait on to keep the tiny little fish away. And here's the wind and the rain again. Lovely. There's another nice roach, just fell to the bread. They're very hard to hook, and they're taking the bait off the hook very quick, but uh, nice size fish. Well, this isn't good. I'm just cast round the back of the trees, and I've caught a blooming moorhen, and he's gone right underneath all this rubbish here. Come on. You'll end up drowning, man. Oh, yeah. Come on. I've got to get out of there. Oh, dear. Oh, he's alive. He's alive. And I've got a hole in me welly. I've just filled me welly full of... Right. It's going to be fun. I'm all tangled up round the, the grass. Come on now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. How am I supposed to handle this? He's got the line wrapped around his little wing. Right. How have you managed to hook yourself like that? There. There you go. There you go. Look, are you okay? Hmm? Are you okay? Are you okay now? Come on. There you go. There you go. He's alright, straight under water. 
Well, that's the first. <laughs> More hen. Hook. It's, it's gone under water. It swam away. Uh, hooked right in the end of the beak. Perfectly hooked. Baby carp. Right under the bushes here. Put me bread in and I saw him come straight up. I've never seen a carp that size out of here. Yeah, that's the smallest carp I've ever seen out of here. Put a small hook on. Nice little common. Lovely. Right under the bushes. Right, are you going to go? Uh -huh. under the rock top down here. I heard him slurping bread, put it down and he took it straight away. If I didn't have a size 14 hook on I wouldn't have got that. Still struggling. Big carp coming up and taking the bread off a size 14 hook but uh, they're just slurping the bread off and I can't hook them. Ah, it's right round the bushes, it's in the lilies. Whoa, can I stop this? Oh, he's got us proper stuck now. Oh. That took us in open water. I've no idea where it's got us. I'll walk this way, I might get somewhere with it. I can see me float. I think the fish is off though. I'm trying to where the edge of the water is. No. That's it, never coming out of there. I would not thought. Well, got me gear back. Well, I got me gear back. <laughs> that was a good fish again, that. Well, that was annoying. That's the second one I've lost. Got snapped with these bushes. That one took us right out there and went straight that way past the lily pads and all the bushes and everything through a load of trees and everything so no stopping it when it was going sideways that's two good ones I've lost off they're coming up with the bread and looking at it and not taking it but that one took it like a torpedo never mind, onwards and upwards Michael says he's into a carp so we'd best rush around and see I told him there was always one hung around this tree. He's been catching tiddlers all day. Here he comes. Now then, you tiddler snatcher. <laughs> yeah. he, he started slurping, I quickly changed the hook over. He's, uh, he stuck a big lump of bread on his nose. You got a floating bread? 
Yeah. Aye. I've had so many come up and take it and spit it out or Aye. look at it and turn away. I don't know how big this is, but he had a fair old size of lips on him. Big set of lips? Yeah. Lovely. I haven't seen him yet. No? Right, well, what breaking strain you on? Uh, five. Five. <laughs> That's why I'm not giving him too much stuff. Yeah. You just got to be careful don't get right in the edge because there's all kinds. Pulling well. This video is supposed to be about my fish, not your fish. But never mind. It would start raining like as soon as I was outside. Come on, I wanted to see what you look like. He's not far away. This is the net big enough, right? Oh, it's got a big tail on it. Oh, a nice mirror. Big ass fish. Fully scaled. Mm. Six or seven pound. Lovely. It's not having it. Oh, it's on a run. Can you see that TV show, Screaming Reels? Huh? <laughs> Screaming Reels. Screaming Reels, aye. Except it didn't scream. <laughs> They're tremendous fighters, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Once they get the heads down, the tail's going. Looks like a nice fish, like chunky. Big old paddles on them. Yeah. And there he is. And there he is again. Just give up and I'll bring you back. He's not going to find that net, is he? <laughs> no, he'll fit in there if you get his head in. Oh, if you fall in, that would make a good video. I was going to say, it'll be a better footage. We've got a good video of me landing the moorhen today, that was a that was a first. <laughs> nice. Fully scaled mirror, lovely. Beautiful, whatever it is. Not having it though. Get your net net well sunk so you don't get spooked. Yeah, that's a weird It's obviously quite well hooked. I hope so. On a barbless size 10 uh, blob hook. <laughs> Aye, well I'll put a 6 on, hook that big and straight away. Aye. And what a little... Aye, uh -huh. oh, just down there. Aye, Aye literally, aye. Literally under the rod pit. Yeah. That one I got was under the rod pit. Yeah. I did what you've seen Craig was doing, he just dabbed it on the top. Yeah, dabbed it on the top. Oh, for feeding you can get them over there. Come on. Yeah, he's got a big tail on him. Oh no. Come on, fish. It's gotta be close now. I could have had it there if I had the other just landing it on. Big net, yeah. Come on, just give in and I'll put you back. Yes. We're not Polish, we're going not gonna eat you. You're <laughs> alright. Once you get his head out, you'll be alright. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make you work first. Mm -hmm. He's there. And he's there then. Oh, a lovely oh. jubbly. Bigger than the net. <laughs> Not that that takes a lot of beating life. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do me from the first day of that. Yeah. Stick it on the stick it on the mat. Get a nice photo. Oh, it's a chunky one, isn't it? I know, it's not easy when you've got a brilliant all these bloody things everywhere. Oh yes. This is quick release isn't quick releasing. So it's a click, not really. Stay there. Get in one. I'll just junk out the way. Nicely hooked. Yeah. Right in the gob. I wasn't coming out in a hurry. No. Lovely. There we go. What a lovely tail on him. Honey. On the size of that paddle. <laughs> the paddler. 
Yeah, he is an old. Beautiful. Yeah, I'll get a photograph of you. There you go, son. That's lovely. Very pretty. Been hooked before by the looks of it. Yeah. What do we say to that, Michael? Panda be doozy. Jolly good, right? Photograph time. That's another round of eight neck. pounds ish. Eight point oh two, yeah. Right, I'm gonna pop them back. And I would think that net is probably about half a pound. I just said seven and a half. <laughs> he was fishing with his tiddler net. <laughs> right, weigh your net and see what it weighs. It can only be ounces, I would think. It's only a light net, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Right. 0.68. So, what's that about? Well, it isn't he enough? Seven and a half, isn't it? Seven, 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 seven or something, yeah. Seven oh well, and a half. I said seven and a half, that was very good. Very good, Michael. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, Just took my eye off the bait at the end of the road. And I've got a carp took it. And it's right through all these weeds. Is it off? Done it again. Straight through these weeds without when I wasn't watching. And it's got us. Oh. Bloody hell, that's three. Oh, God. Just wasn't watching and it took the rod off the rest. Oh, that is so annoying. That's three I've been snapped by. Now this is the problem that I'm facing. Fishing with floating bread, these medium sized fish are splashing at it, knocking it off the hook, and then eating it when it's off the hook, like seconds after it hits the water. They don't eat it, they just smash at it until it comes off the hook. Splash, splash, splash. And when they don't get it, the moorhen or the duck comes around it gets it. So it's really frustrating trying to keep your bait in the water long enough to get a fish on. And look at the state of it. And you can never hook them, because I've tried. Now this roach just uh, took it off the top on a size 6 hook. That's obviously what it is that's flapping about. Little buggers. In between the tiny little fish splashing at the bait and these two baby moorhens under this bush here, it's not making life easy for me. You can't keep your bait on the hook for more than two minutes without either a moorhen grabbing it or a load of little fish. Never mind. Nice enough roach. Well, eventually, I've got a little carp that was playing about under these bushes. He's not very big. Carp! Not very big at all. I don't think that's the one I've seen. Oh, God, he's got some nasty, nasty marks on him. Ooh, he's got a nasty, nasty blister on his side in. Both sides, crikey me. No idea what's caused that. Not very nice though. There you go. That looked nasty. So every day, apart from a Tuesday, is beautiful weather. Now it's absolutely chucking it down again. I don't know. I'm going to have to change my fishing day, I think. 
this little duck here has been the bane of my life today. It doesn't matter where I cast my bait, he comes and finds it. No matter where it is on the lake, he finds it. He swims 50 yards to get to me bait to take it off the hook. Get! You'd look nice crispy with some cucumber and little pancakes. So watch it, pal. Oh, it's off! Bastard! Ugh. God! I'm watching the bloody duck to make sure he doesn't go across there and a carp come up and rip off of the line I didn't strike. Oh God, it's the fourth one I've lost today. Michael's into his third carp of the day. He had one a little bit earlier, about two and a half, three pound or something. He's got a slightly better one on now, but it's not as big as uh, the seven and a half pound I says. I've just been thwarted by small fish attacking me bread, ducks, moor hens, underhanging trees, branches. Oh, he's got it. Size it! Aye? Oh, he says it might be as big as the first one. Yeah, he's gonna wait. We'll find out, but he thinks it's about the same size as the first one, which was seven and a half pound. Lucky boy, he hasn't got the underhanging trees over there like I've got, so he's got an advantage. Just under seven and a half, that one. So that's two good fish he's had today, and three good fish, four good fish I've lost. One pulled the hook and three through the bushes. Very frustrating. Well folks, that's it. Seven o'clock. I've used the last piece of crust from the whole loaf of hovis. I didn't get warbitons today. Maybe that's the problem. Frustrated by all these little fish slashing at the bread and knocking it off the hook. And when they aren't, the blowing moor hens of the ducks are. So, just been one of those days. Michael's had three carp. I've had two little carp. Been snapped off three times and lost one, but uh, it's just been a strange old day. The weather hasn't helped. I wouldn't care if I've had some fabulous weather the last few days. And today, again, it's been very, very moist. So we'll see you in episode six, unless I go somewhere in between times. Bye bye for now.